morning, YouTube. So I decided to be a homebody this weekend. Okay, that's not possible. I'm, I have things to do tomorrow, but I decided to be a homebody today. So Miss Homebody is going to clean up, wash her clothes, fold, put them away, be a black girl in tech and build some things to make my life a little bit more functional and i'm probably gonna order me some sherry's trendy i'm going through a debate on whether i should order the groceries or if i should go get them myself and i feel like shopping just takes so much time out of your day when you could just order it to be delivered to your home but at the same time, I really need to cut this relationship that I have with Instacart <laughs> so I can save money because my goal is to cook more, spend less. If my goal is to cook more, spend less, I cannot be using Instacart. So I started a series on YouTube called Cook More, Spend Less, where I'm going to cook all the things that I am craving so I can put less income in these restaurants' pockets, right? um that doesn't mean that i'm not gonna be doing like foodie stuff because that's one of like you know i love it you know i love finding you know i love finding hitting gyms in orlando so i'm not gonna let that part of my life go but i am going to stop with the picking up food at random spots you know everything that i have seen in these restaurants i know how to cook myself i'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to tell you i know how to cook okay so i'm only going to share his trini because i'm not a trini gal so i don't know how to cook trini food i don't know how to make the roti and i don't even need to learn how to make the roti i want the roti from sherry sherry's because she knows what she's doing all right i don't need to do that so i'm gonna go to the roti shop I'm gonna give me a little roti today that's gonna be my little din din um but everything else i'm gonna make myself <laughs> um i have to clean my sneakers because after the concert i threw up on them <laughs> so i have to clean those by hand and then um do the rest in the washing machine and i think that's what my day is looking like today like that's pretty much it like there's nothing else um and i love this for me oh and i'm gonna watch first wives club okay let's talk about first wives club i've already finished the first season okay you know what i'm gonna come back i'm gonna come back i'm gonna go i'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go shower I'm going to go do all the stuff that requires me to be dirty and nitty and gritty. And then we're going to get dressed for my day inside. <laughs> See you soon. All right, y'all boys. So I have to go ahead and wash my white sneakers. Um, because if you guys remember <laughs> earlier on in this week, your girl got so high that I had to throw up basically so now i have to wash the you i actually don't like buying white sneakers because of how dirty they get but obviously that's because of me <laughs> so um it has nothing to do with the sneakers but it has everything to do with the person who owns them so i yeah i'm gonna see if i can effectively clean this so what i've learned from youtube university is that you have to take out the insoles um and then you have to make sure you take out the laces and when you do that you put these in a laundry bag and you wash them you can see i tried to get some stains off but there are still stains here and like here and right here so because i really need to get these things away i feel like i'll know if my life is together if i wake up in the morning and i go straight to washing my face i put socks on when i put on sneakers and i tie my laces once i get to that point in life yeah i'm gonna be that girl the it girl that one the one not the two so we gonna work on this we gonna work on making socks a priority with socks based shoes so this is this is for you people who are just like me stop being these people all right how do my toes get this dirty 
I can never tell you how my feet get as dirty. I don't know. I don't know. I've never known. I've been this way since I was a kid. There's no solution to this. Even if I went to a podiatrist, they're just going to make me spend more money. And I've come to terms with me being a dirty foot bitch. But I'm working on it. 30 years old. <laughs> and it stopped being a dirty foot bitch. So we're going to wash these. And once they're clean, once they're clean, we are never going to see this again. Hold me to it, YouTube. Hold me to it, please. So I don't own any laundry bags, but I do own these like bags that you can essentially um, pack your stuff in and they are washable. So I'm gonna put all the stuff in here because they're the laundry bag. And I'm gonna put them in with my white clothes load today since that's what I'm washing. Look, one thing about me, if there's a will, there's a way. The shoes look like after being washed in the washing machine um i don't know if there's much of a difference because th there's a stain right here right here that i'm really trying to get rid of the stain right here that i'm really trying to get out. let me see if i can focus it see this stain right here I'm really trying to get rid of that, but it doesn't look like it's going to go away without some spot. It doesn't look like it's going to go away without some spot treatment. So I'm going to have to go do that. And then also, not really a good job. The back of this is mad dirty. Look at that shit. I probably have to buy Shout to spot clean this. And then once I get the shout to spot clean it, then I'll be fine. But I don't have the capacity to do that this week. So I'm going to I'm gonna try to put it in my day tomorrow. But I doubt I'm going to do it tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and let this air dry um, to get all the moisture out. One of the things that you guys need to know about sneakers is never put them in the dryer. I had a pair of sneakers that I put in the dryer. And yeah, that was a very bad idea. That shit squirted on me. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> Should I call him? <laughs> such a perv. I'm so perverted. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are watching this from. Um, today, I have a picnic it's my first picnic in a very long time and i'm already late we, we know this by now but i called and asked to push the time back so i can be on time <laughs> so i'm currently getting ready for the picnic um we are i'm making mini sandwiches for the picnic should take 30 minutes in those 30 minutes i have enough time to just sit back and watch and relax for a while. Um, I got fresh fruit, let me show you guys. This is my haul from Publix. I got fresh fruit, some Hawaiian rolls, turkey, egg. I was gonna put, I was gonna put eggs in the sandwich, but I don't think this will be good for a cold sandwich. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Don't mind our empty fridge. We are people that barely eat in this house. Um, what else? Um, this is for me to put in the sandwiches. I'm trying to be real cute. And I found these soft brioche baguettes. 
and I found these soft brioche baguettes and I want to make a tuna salad to put in them because I feel like it'll be so yummy but all right so let's get the cooking mistake there. It's always a mistake. My biggest regret is not being taught how to cut bread. Why? So I put turkey, about like two rows of turkey and one row of cheese because I don't really consume a lot of cheese um, and it's only on rare occasions such as these that I would and then I flip these over and then I take this the melted butter and I add maple syrup to it. A little syrup to it. Preheated my oven to about 350. I'm gonna put it up around um, because I hate preheating ovens to like 400 and you don't need it until like later. Um, so I'm gonna put it up to 450 so that this can cook, not 450, could put it up to 395 so that this can cook. Go ahead and slam it up in that way. And I will be back after I make the chicken salad. got invited to the color purple um it's like a basically like a candle making class and so 
I'm currently walking to Space Man. So yeah, take you guys with me. And okay. picking out fragrances you'd like okay, to put awesome. in. And then you have any choice of candle over on that side. Nice. Too, Thank you so much. This is your purse, right? That side is probably better for like recording. Oh, okay. This one? Yeah. Okay. What are you going to decide to get? Sorry, Mark. What scents did you choose? I did smell, smell my scents. Yeah. <laughs> smell my scents. Oh, it's a gap. <laughs> you might have to start your own <laughs> perfume line. Okay, I really think this has to smell good. Yeah, okay, so that is definitely. She's that girl. Another, <laughs> another to add to the list. <laughs> you haven't found any? I found three. What's your favorite? Like a lost. Oh, no, those are good combos. Yeah, those are good, good together. Red wine, freak show. That's actually really, really cute. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. No, I think that one's smaller. It's so cute. Did you see this one? Look at it. It's so pretty. I'm kind of excited for this because I've never had a candle that's like this, like a glass. I, girl, I've never had a glass candle. Oh, I love to love how I can. I can never eat it from the store because it's always has nuts in the crust. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, it's all the way to the top, right? Yeah, until you can't boil over anymore. Okay. I think it's a very chocolate. So, maybe you should have some sweet to like balance it out. I mean, I feel like brown sugar is sweet. I think it should be more like brown sugar. I did. Oh, this, this should balance. Yeah, I feel like it was. Yeah, we have pink, silver, and gold. Beautiful. One of us will stop buying and you know when you're good to stop mixing, but start brainstorming some names because you will name your candles. Okay. I love the combo of ours. Oh my god. Did you just call yourself a secret? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. We're gonna <laughs> she said, she, she said, that's my baby. Don't do him. Today is going to be a very long and busy day. You know, when you're an overachiever and you feel like you can get everything done in a day, that's me. And it's nine o'clock and I am acknowledging that I won't be able to get everything done today. So let's talk about what's on the to-do list, okay? Today's to-do list is getting my nails
and I have to record a podcast episode on top of joining a business meeting that I have 30 minutes before the podcast episode. What are the likelihoods that I'm gonna get all of that done before 5 p.m.? Well, before the podcast is 6 30. I'm I I'm not even gonna do the whole like yeah you could do a show. I don't even want to say that because why would I give myself so much to do in a day, huh, Cheryl? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? But I'm an overachiever and think that I can do all things in the name of Christ. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can actually power through this to-do list. I feel like there's not too much big things on the list per se. If I had woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe I would have more time to do all the things that I said I would do. And that's what I really need to do. So I'm hoping that I can get through recording the podcast episodes around like 7. I'm hoping that we can get through recording two episodes and I can go straight home and go to bed. Because if I go to bed and I wake up at 5... Yeah, if I go to bed and I wake up at 5, I should be perfectly fine with the ability to do all the things that I need to do tomorrow. Because today, I was hoping I would find time to work out, and I'm going to find the time. One thing about me, even if it's after whatever I got to do, I'm going to find time to go to the gym. Because it's a part of my life now. It's fully integrated. Like, we love the gym here now. Okay? I'm okay? I'm okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's going to be a fully um, packed day and there's there's just so much, so much to do. Um, I'm excited for the holiday at Friendsmas tomorrow. Um, uh, my roommate and I are hosting way too many people. Listen, if you're like me and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 invite everybody because you think most people are going to say no, don't do it. We out here, we like invited all our friends. It was like, yeah, you can bring a plus one. As if we don't live in an apartment. Child, we live in an apartment. Plus one, what? Why we got a plus one? Why do you have a plus one? No, there should have been no plus ones. Um, and we, I thought it was going to be some cute, close-knit. And that's where we got the game fucked up. It's not cute. It's not close-knit. Well, it's going to be cute, but it's not close-knit. It's a whole bunch of fucking people. So, Yeah. Don't don't be like me and invite everybody in your mom and be like, yeah, bring your plus ones. I don't even know why people are bringing plus ones. It's literally like it's not even necessary, but I feel like, you know, everybody wants to do something to have a good time. So obviously bringing a plus one makes sense, but it's literally a house party. It's a house party. It's a house little shindig. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, this is this is a great since it's our first it's our first holiday party it's the first time i've ever planned a holiday party and it's the first time that oh i don't know if it's the first time my roommates planned a party but um yeah so we 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 definitely over overdid it as far as like the amount of people that can come to the holiday party but we're hoping that things will be just fine we're literally we're just like ah, what's the worst could happen literally the worst wine in these college parties in an apartment filled with people coming in and coming out so we should be perfectly fine as adults with a holiday party um where people are coming in to sit down and just talk uh one of the things i am a little nervous about well i'm not nervous because um everyone that i know gets along with a lot of people so there's never really a problem with people getting along with people but you never know because like shit's crazy out there people people don't be meshing with everybody and that's fine so that's the only thing i'm a little bit nervous about so i've made it to my nail place late <laughs> so let's go get these nails done y'all
so you this is all me right here that's all me four months ago i decided to stop getting acrylic on my nail so that i could just do whatever i want with my actual physical nails i knew when i was in high school when i was in high school my nails grew very very long that's with being a girl that washed dishes all the time like I worked in the service industry where I was washing dishes, bussing tables. Like I was I was doing hard work, girl. And I was perfectly fine. No one was gonna tell me that my shirt was inside out. I fucking hate it here. It's all right, nobody was gonna know anyways. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. The shirt's inside out, always. <laughs> Is my jacket inside out? No, it wasn't, okay. Um, yeah, I was doing really, really, really hard work and my nails were perfectly fine. So I don't know what really got me into getting my nails done um, acrylic wise. But as soon as I learned about Russian nail art and Russian nail artists and how they really just preserve your natural nails and restore the beauty of having you know creative designs creative experiences in your nails through your own natural nails i was like must do want to make lots of money <laughs> and yeah yeah once we started bringing that cash i was like we're gonna get the russian nails okay look at this it's shimmer I was like, I want to get a little Frenchy French because, yeah, I want to be a cutie. I want to be, I want to be a, a cutie. You, you see this? Now imagine those sexy pics that you can send to your boo with these. Oh, that bitch. <laughs> so I'm off to go get my wax. Um, go to my wax girl. One of the things that I notice about me being in these spaces these getting my nails done like russian nails because i'm usually the only black person and it's so strange because i don't know if it's just that black people are not hip to it or if maybe this is a little too expensive because this girl just pulls out of the salon where she got her russian nails what a g-way g-way i ain't got you wearing money <laughs> So I hope this is not me overspending and thinking that I'm falling out. Um, and that I'm actually, I, what am I talking about? Girl, yeah. You got the money, you got the bread. Cause I was spending, I think I was spending right around the same amount of money that I do these nails, like the, the price. Like I think the pricing for this is around $75. Um, this, this, no, actually like $110. I spent about $110 to get this done. But I also spend $110 to get acrylics. Um, the only difference is, is that the acrylics is longer and there's more like nail art and stuff like that. But I feel like the price that I'm paying for having actual, like my nails be long, healthy, is easier, better, and more sustainable than it is for me to get acrylics because there's a lot of pain that came with acrylics. I would break a nail, I would cause my nail beds harm. Like, I feel like I'm making better decisions and spending the same amount of money to make better decisions in protecting the health of my nails. And you know, you know a girl is feeling herself when her hands are all in the, all in the camera. I don't know how to act. I, listen, go look at the videos. Go, go back. Go back and see when my nails are looking rusty, musty, busted, and crusty. And how my, I wasn't, I wasn't doing all of this. And now, I know how to act. <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Today is the day for the friends mess and I have a couple errands to run. I'm going to be getting some last minute items so that we can have our decor finalized and everything looking real cute and nice. Um, we ordered some tablecloths for the table setting for our friends to like sit and enjoy their food. And unfortunately, the tables were longer than the actual tablecloths that we got. So I'm trying to see if I can finesse like the way that it looks by getting three plastic tablecloths that I'm gonna just like have covered the entire table. And then we'll have like the cute ones, like, you know, dead center, like midline to kind of like disguise the plastic. I'm hoping that would work because that's the only thing that I think will have a solution that won't cost us too much money um, to have like a really, really nice tablecloth but at the same time still be able to cover up the full table. I'm gonna get some like mini stuff to like add as accents across the apartment. And I'm also going to get, um, you know, like food stuff. Like I'm gonna be making wings for people who technically like arrive early. And then um, I think that's pretty much everything that I need. I'm hoping that I can get this done before I have to go to office at two. So at 2 p.m. I have to jet on over to the office, get a couple of pictures and content for my client. And then we'll turn back home in time <laughs> to greet the guests and like do my makeup. I'm thinking maybe I should do my makeup before I leave for the office, but at the same time, I don't wanna do that. This is insane. <laughs> oh, God. Oh my god, I'm putting tears of like joy and comedy and that's crazy. Okay, so a couple things have changed today, but it has changed in my favor. I don't actually have to go into the office today, so that actually gives me time to do what I need to do. So I had to make a charcuterie board and I had to make the wings. I'm on wings and charcuterie board duties. So you guys are gonna watch me set up the living room for our guests to come sit in. I am so excited because I don't organize things. <laughs> I'm one of those like, you know, like let somebody else do it, not me. So this is something new for me to like host people in our home and give them the opportunity to, you know, like experience what we do or what I do or what me and my roommate can do to just like welcome them in our home. We got our TV mounted. Finally, one of the things I'm so excited about, one of like one of the things I'm really, 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 really excited about is playing. Why well, I got one earring on? What is going on? <laughs> That's crazy. One of the things I'm so excited about is being able to play um, Christmas music with the, um, I think it's like firewood playing. Let me go do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now, hold on. Yes, fireplace for your home. You guys, this is like <laughs> my favorite thing to do is just put up firewood and listen to the crackling noise. Let there be some smooth jazz in the background. I was gonna put it on like the lo-fi ones that are on YouTube, but my YouTube isn't connecting to my Fire TV, so um, I'm just gonna use Netflix because it is. So now that the TV is set up, we can try to figure out like what 
the like setup for like maybe our table would be um if we're gonna get like a high table or if we're gonna do a low one i'm probably gonna take my dresser and move it out to the living room honestly but it don't match the decor so i don't think i'm gonna do that we had to move my couch that was here over here and i really like like the way that this looks like having a bookshelf right next to the couch so i wonder what it would look like if i moved my bookshelf <laughs> over here somewhere that's a conversation for another time let's get to cooking y'all an exchange or something like uh -huh. That's crazy.
get 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can't get 10, but I can get 10. Popping little things, stopping you feel me? Get your shit, get your connect. You already know what time we on, man. This is not sponsored by Bel Air, but if you'd like to, my email is hello at shirleydora.com. <laughs> I put a little mango. No, I put mango in there. There was a little mango. 
Get a little raspberry. I knew it was I was about to pour that shit back in and take an intro. I'm sick. <laughs> Sword in my mouth. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Sword art. That's what Zoro do. When Zoro do it, it's not gay, it's right? It's not gay, right? It's only gay when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. When they do it, it's probably when I do it. Shout out to Sprong. Last night's friendsness was such a vibe. We basically used the entire apartment, our thousand square foot apartment, to hit up tables and chairs so that people can sit and eat their food. And then we set up our couches in the living, um, the dining room area where we actually have our desk. And that way they could just chill. And we had a couple bar stools for people to sit and chill there too. And it was so nice. We played karaoke. We had, you know, your typical like Friendsmas um, party games. And the decor, baby, if you are on a budget and you ain't trying to blow the bank, go ahead and go to Shein Foam Finds and get your table set up, your decor items looking the bon diggity. Everyone came in and they were so surprised about how beautiful our setup was, how, you know, it was super cute. My chicken wings and the holiday punch was once again a talk of the town. Everybody was like, who made these wings? This can't be store-bought wings. And I was like, no, I made lemon pepper, blades and barbecue and regular wings and everybody loved it. Listen, that chicken wing recipe is top notch, delicious wings. And then of course the lemon pepper, you know, that's my vibe. I made that without any help. Like I know how to make lemon pepper wings and I also know how to make a good blazing barbecue. It's easy. You just get barbecue sauce and then my Haitian stuff adds extra stuff. You know, my own secret ingredients to make it Haitianified, and then the seasonings is very different from other people as well. Again, Haitian, it makes, you know, being Haitian is the greatest gift on earth because you just know how to season food differently. The way that you make food is different. The way that it tastes is different. I don't know, you know? I don't, don't wanna brag, but being Haitian is a flex, okay? It's a flex. And the holiday punch, every, when I tell you everybody, Everybody was like, let me get more, let me get more, let me get more. This shit is good, this shit is tasty. And I was like, damn, I really know how to cook. I'm really good. I'm really made for this. I'm really true to this. I'm true to this. Like, I be doing the damn thing. Like, okay, girl, period. I love that every single person came in with some of their gifts. Some people bought drinks, some people bought alcohol. And I love it when people bring their hosts things to eat and things to drink because it, it makes me feel like you're also appreciating us for organizing an opportunity for all of us to get together and celebrate you know the holiday season this will be my only contribution to fueling the united states for the rest of the year my money will only go to things that will provide me sustenance and that's all they get in for me but yeah i really really love the friends it was such a good time um i don't know if i would do this again I can see why people don't host parties. I can see why I didn't decide to host parties. But I would do it in the spirit of just having a good time. Like people were telling me I was such a good host. And I was like, oh, I'm an entertainer or whatever. <laughs> so it was nice to hear from other people that they really enjoyed my personality and that it was so, you know, such a great experience for them to come out here and, you know, enjoy the celebration of the holiday season with us. So today we have a very long day planned. Um, I have a whole bunch of things to get through today. I'm going on a date. Um, we're gonna go to Arcade Monsters. Um, they have a new location that opened up in International Drive, which is basically the very touristy area of Orlando. I think it's a really smart idea to have gone to I Drive because because it's always busy. There's always people there, so I'm hoping that this idea of them being on that side of town will bring whatever it is that they're looking for as far as like tourism and stuff like that. 
And then after that, we're gonna go to this Italian spot that I've been really, really wanting to try. It's called Mia's Italian. They supposedly have a um, all you can eat. I think it's a brunch, but I'm hoping it's an all you can eat dinner. Um, and if it's not, you know, then it is what it is. And then after that, hopefully we can get some ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, y'all scream for ice cream. And that's pretty much everything for my lineup today for things to do. I'm hoping that I can get home early so that I can go to sleep because I didn't sleep last night. I didn't go to sleep till two o'clock in the morning and I had to wake up so I can cook breakfast, get ready and go on our date. Um, so I have a little bit of tiredness. I'm a little fatigued right now, but I will get over it soon. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping we get home at an early time or at a, a reasonable time so that I can go to sleep early and get me some sleep. Hopefully 10 hours if I could. No, I can't sleep for 10 hours. That's crazy. It's not possible. Okay, let's go to Arcade Monsters. Usually it's like a $25 to $50 non one deposit, um, but you can book it here without the deposit. You just kind of run the gamble of is it in use, is it going to be available that night. Okay. Um, so that's why people would put down the deposit. That's a lot of fun. There you go. 